hey, here's this five minute quickie. And what's it all about? I'll tell you. It's about something I heard from a really great guy, the great Jim Carrey. And he told me something that was really interesting that we could use together. And I want you to think about it. But first of all, you have to listen before you can think. Okay, see you in a minute. Warning. 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 You are entering into the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. Clough. Too late. Personal development unplugged. Hi, my friends. You've fallen into, stumbled onto, or deliberately, deliberately tuned in to the 5-Minute Quickie podcast here at Personal Development Unplugged, where we're going to unpack things. We're going to deconstruct things. But here's the thing. I don't know whether this is deconstructing. Is it of a sort? You see, I know we've talked about this type of thing, and I know we talk about the same type of th- similar things, not the same type, the similar things, because there's always different things moving around. But I was looking through some of my old podcast notes, because I try to keep keep an idea of, of what's been going on or what I did and what I think about. And I tend to mark them off, highlight them when we've done things. And this thing looked familiar, but it wasn't marked off. Now that could have been, i say that again, that could have been me just being silly. But on the other hand, could have been for a reason. Ooh, spooky. And it's all about a note, a note I made from what I heard from a guy called Jim Carrey. You know Jim Carrey, the movie star, the actor, the now spiritualist. I don't know what he is now, but he's finding a better place for himself, I guess. And it was something he said. And what he said got me to think in my notes about, well, thinking about the selfless service. And that's what I was saying. We've, we've talked about this. And we will always talk about this, I think, this selfless service doing the right thing, doing the right thing for other people without any expectation of anything in return. Do you remember there were, I did a podcast about, you know, maybe not being able to, to deal with and help and try to rectify all the stuff in the world because it was just too far away. But looking through the window, looking through the window from where you live and notice just around you, there are people there who you could help. And then I talked about in FMQ 310, 310, can you believe it? Make yourself known. And this is a bit like that. And you'll get get it when I say it's a bit like that, but it's like the opposite. A little bit counterintuitive because occasionally, very occasionally, we can be counterintuitive here. We can. And then there was hashtag 194. Don't let this die within you. Or don't let this die with you. One of those. But anyway, that had a similar type of theme. You see, Have you ever experienced this? And I experience it quite a lot. You know somebody, or you think you do. That is the issue. Well, it's not an issue, it's a thing. You know somebody, and you think you know them pretty well, and you're talking. And sometimes I'm talking, and we go go to a pub, not not at the moment, but we're in a pub maybe, or having a cup of coffee, and we're just chatting. And you've got a moment to talk one-to-one. You're out of your group. And you can talk a little deeper. And you're just talking, maybe about the things that you like and that. And then you ask a question and boom, they tell you something that they do, which knocks you for six, which blows your socks off. It's something that you didn't know and you wasn't expecting that. And it's awesome. You think, wow, I didn't realize you, you were so interested in that type of thing. Now I get you a bit more. I didn't realize you had those type of skills. And it's sometimes, again, have you ever had this experience? Very similar. You've met someone maybe for the first time. You've gone to a party or you, you're sitting down with somebody and you've just got that little bit of time and you're just talking one-to-one. Never met this person before, but they seem a nice person. And they're making, and you're making your first impressions. And you're just talking. And you open that wonderful question, you know, what type of things interest you? And they come out with something fantastic, something that you would not believe. When you look at them, you go, I really didn't believe that was you. We wouldn't say that, but you think that, don't you? Wow. And you just get so curious. And it's so amazing of the skills that people have got that are hidden below the surface. Well, to you anyway. 
But the thing is, those two examples are about other people, isn't it? Other people you think you know, other people you don't know, but it just happens. What if that other person was you? What do you do undercover? What do you do away from the madding crowds? No, what do you do from your, away when you're away from your friends? What do you and what are you interested in? What would surprise them if they were to know the type of things that you're interested in, the type of skills that you have, the c- capabilities you have, your interests, your knowledge? You see, people say, I can't help others. Not, not when I look through the window like you do, Paul. You know, you do NLP, you do therapy, you do that. And I go, but. And I very rarely say, but. If, if you notice on the, on the podcast, I don't like saying, but, because it negates everything I've just said. And I'm saying, yes, with a big but, because when people say, I can't help others like you, looking through the window, things like that, it is a big but, because I'm going to knock it out the window. That doesn't exist. Because your undercover you will help those in need. They will, because you'll surprise the blooming socks off them. It's just being maybe a little bit vulnerable, but it's also, as we've talked about, talked about, showing yourself. Let yourself be known. You know, make yourself known. And that's why I say the opposite. Because at that, that particular podcast, we were talking about making yourself known about your own issues. But this is the complete opposite. And this is where I said it's a little bit different. It's about let yourself be known who you really are, the things that excite you, the things that you are interested in, because you will be a little bit of an expert on that. And they won't. And there'll be skills there that will just, i use the word again, entrance. I didn't use it in this podcast, but I just recorded a one before, and I use entranced. And they will be entranced, just as you would have been if it was the other way around. And I wonder if you could look a little bit deeper inside with this as if you were looking at yourself and ask yourself the questions. What do I do that comes so naturally to me that I could use to help others? Because you see, when I say so naturally, even though you've had to work at it, you know, or you think, no one would think it, it's any great shakes because you do it naturally now. But we've talked about those learnings, you know, unconscious incompetence, conscious incompetence, unconscious learnings, unconscious competence when you have mastery and it becomes so easy when you come in the flow state. And if you looked, and if you were really honest, and you can be honest with yourself, can't you? And you can be open with yourself. You can be vulnerable to yourself because no other person is listening. Just think, what are the things I'm really interested in, things I do that may, I think, be so simple to other people? But what are they? And what in there could help others? And I want you to, I'd love you to think about that because you, I know, are deeper than that. You're just... Maybe, I don't know what the word is, but just delve a little deeper and be open to share it. And I'll tell you for why. Because what did that, that saying or that thing that Jim Carrey said to me? He didn't say it to me, but I heard it. And if I heard it from Jim Carrey, he must have been saying it to me, just as I'm saying this to you. What's your talent that helps others? What do they need that your talent could provide? All I want you to do, if you would, go, switch off this in a moment, schedule some time, just amuse, to think, just think, what's your talent that helps others? What do they need that your talent can provide? Be honest, be open with yourself. And when you identify it, do it, because you'll make a difference. And you will be able to look through the window, just outside and see those people that your talent will help because they need what you do. Because sometimes there's a spin-off from that talent. Maybe it's just as a listener, maybe just sharing stories, maybe it's just being there. But there's other stuff I know. I know it because whatever you think you are, you're more than that. And when you think, well, okay, I can be more than that, but you're more than that too. So think about and do make time to go muse about your talents and how those talents could help others. There you go.
That's all it is for today. There'll be a little bit of an outro and things like that, but I just wanted to pass it on to you. Good old Jim for telling me. <laughs> okay, until the next time, I will be looking for your talents. And if you want to, tell me what they are. Because if you tell me what they are, I'll tell you how you can use them and how other people would love them. Do you remember that thing that we talk about? And I bang on about so much of the time, the integrated field of learning. When we share our talents, when we share our learnings, when we share our skills, our capabilities, our thoughts, our intuitions, everything into this integrated field of learning, you keep it. You keep all those things, but other people get to share it too, to get to be part of it, to get to be able to think about it, to inspire other people. That's what I'm doing here, isn't it? Have more fun than you can stand. Go schedule that musing now. So before you leave this unplugged mind of mine, this hypnotic mind, if you enjoyed this podcast or any of the other podcasts, please do subscribe. It helps this podcast grow and affect so many more people. And we love to leave everyone in a better place than we found them. And this will help. Help the podcast. It will help you. And it will help, well, everyone that you know. So if you could just uh, just subscribe and share. Share this podcast to everyone you bloody well know. That's the only cost. Pay it forward to everyone. And when you do that, boom, we are all going to make a difference to this little old planet Earth of ours and the people in it. But let's make a good world, a nice world. Okay, okay, you can now prepare to leave this unplugged mind. Warning, you are now leaving the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. It's time to fly on your own. Be brave, my friend. Personal Development Unplugged.